Hello guys and welcome to Farming Life Overexposed Edition Can't flapping see Farming Life episode 50 summer It's been a while since I've done one of these I do apologise um, But today Well first things first we've run out of water Which you think how does that happen On a hill farm in Cumbria One of the wettest places Seems to be one of the wettest places around well it's a good question and i don't really know the answer to be honest but it has happened so that's a job now um, we're dipping on friday it's currently the wednesday and we're off to get a bowser full of water from far end we've got a pump um, and we're pumping water hours and we've got well we need four or five thousand liters and when you've got no water um, it's a bit of a problem We've got two IBC, 1,000 litres, drums full there. And I'm just trying to look for the pin for the water bowser. It is there, so that's alright. Um, so, if you are new around here, please don't forget to subscribe um, and leave a like. Um, I'll take this trail off and then we will go and get a water bowser full of water. Hope, it's a bit of a relic. It's a bit of a relic really, but hopefully it makes it back in one piece without tyres busting her out. Um, so that's the plan anyway, that's the hope, that's the dream. So let's get going. As I say, we've got no water, which is no good for life. You don't realise how much water you use until you're carting it about like. Because we must use loads. water bowser has not been used in about a year so we'll just be gay must be a bit um, we're hoping it doesn't puncture basically it could do and if it does well I hope it doesn't do it on the main road anyway so coming out of a spring some land we own further from farm. Absolutely tremendous water, like clean as anything. Uh, really nice stuff. Uh, so, grand really. So, we're just going to pump it back up here, back up tractor. Granddad pumped, as I say, pumped 2,000 litres yesterday into them RBC tanks. They're grand and full now, and this this is about. I think it's about 900 or 800 liters, so that was many. And then someone's got another one for us, so should be alright. Just about odd enough, like maybe we got further than we did last time. Just slowly plodding along, now wrong with that. Sitting at 10 miles an hour. Now I need to bray on. Because it could go against us if we did, so I can do. So after we've got this on, the rest of the day consists of sorting the lambs out, we've stained everything, we've gathered, obviously for dipping, stained everything. Today's job is 
splitting Gimelan and Tuckland up and injecting Gimelan with something called Provoxin, which is um, like a thing to nine disease, I think. I'll list them off when I've got the box, makes it easier. Um, so we give that to all our lambs, we give it to the hours before the lamb as well. Uh, good, well, we think it's good stuff, it seems to work for us. So we're not going to change it, if you know what I mean. Uh, job sound. We're here, on that last cattle grid. The tyre box now, job will be hard to do. Hasn't, it hasn't done, it hasn't done. Whoa, this is intense stuff. Like, as you can see behind me, part that up, grand, so we've got about 2,800 litres of water, so the job's sound there. Now the job is, um, um, bravoxine the lambs. Grandfather's just gathered them in now, as you can see here. With these two dogs, Clyde and Birdie, getting them out of the meadow and they're going into the pens here, easy enough. Um, so job is earlier about the fact we spare the lambs and spending basically means we've taken them off their mothers um, which is what happens this time of year when the lambs get big enough and fat enough and um, not really sucking the mothers anymore so we take them off helps the lambs do better and the sheep so it's better for all parties so that's what we do about this time of year to give them top some people wait longer some people do it sooner but this is one way to do it so As you can see, we've got. As you can see, we've got new pens here, concreted. 
Um, these are just temporary. Obviously these are permanent. We're gonna get rails between them. So three races, shedding doors and well, two doors in and then one foot bath. Concreted all this, so it's so much better to work on. Job sound. We have a very odd lamp here. It's got one side of its face is completely white, and the other side is completely black. Very weird. So today's video is brought to you by Revolution Race, which is an outdoor clothing company brand. I'm currently repping right now and I have been throughout the video and throughout my last month or two since I got these clothes. Um, I've been using, I've been wearing these trousers, obviously not non-stop, but they have been on a lot. Obviously I've not been wearing the coat as much because it's not been wet and it's not been that cold. It's been a bit warm for that. The Cyclone jacket, these trousers here, um, both um, links for both of the products will be down in the description below. Absolutely tremendous stuff. We'll be buying, we'll be getting some more of these, buying some more of these for work clothes because they're so much better than jeans or any other work trousers I've had ever. So we're buying some more of these um, with the code. Um, my code, you can get 10% off, I believe. 10% um, off any purchases you make in the next week. Um, so the code will be here on the screen here and in the description below above the links to the website and these products um, extremely waterproof when I have worn them haven't got wet at all including the trousers the trousers are um, fairly waterproof I don't know if they're completely waterproof but they are keep me fairly dry um, absolutely tremendous stuff plenty of pockets plenty of storage Lola agrees don't you Lola hey you agree with them yes so does the rebel back there um, absolutely tremendous clothes and I would highly recommend them um, for work or for outdoor pursuits, walking, anything like that. Absolutely grand. But I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have please leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you in the next video which should be sometime soon, probably dipping, uh, might be somewhere else if we're just quite busy with dipping just getting on but um, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Say bye.